The contents of this interview, or from Awake and Empowered Expo LLC from Ethan Fox and Flower of Life Center for Human Evolution, is for informational purposes only and does not necessarily reflect the viewpoints held by these organizations or individuals. Always consult with your doctor or health professional before making any changes to your diet, lifestyle, or prescription drug use. Please understand that you assume all responsibility and risk for the use or misuse of this information. Jeremiah, greetings. Greetings, Jeremiah. Do you have a message for the room today? Yes, so many have assembled in this area in order to bring forth a higher vibration of light. So most important today, what we wish for you to understand is that in these words, there is a shift, there is a change. And many might say, yes, there is a great shift going on on our planet in this time. This shift is energetic. And yes, it is. But know that it goes beyond a force of gravity or a definition in your mind of a force of a planetary energy, you see, because this shift of vibration comes through in many forms. It comes through in light waves. It comes through in creational universal tapping into of this ascension plan that we have placed in a planetary alignment with all of universal energy, with all of creation, with all that have assembled here. So in simplicity, these words that are coming through today may seem as if they are singular in nature. They may seem as if they are coming from a singular being as Jeremiah. But what we ask for you to understand is that each of these words is an energetic vibration of higher light. They are a shift of change within not only your being, but the collective universal energy that we call our planet, that we call our physical reality. And some may say that this shift is important on the planet Earth, and yes it is. But many do not realize the ties here, the energetic ties here of where this shift is of universal importance because there are many things that are happening upon your planet that are of lower vibrational nature. There are many changes upon your planet that need to be made. So in its highest intention, healing your planet for the benefit of all human beings is of great importance. Yes. But those that are involved in this healing from a sense of light work need to grasp onto the understanding that this is beyond just your planet, you see. Because those dimensions that are above and beyond, and we don't say above in a way of defining you as a lower race here. We are fi defining the word above as a vibrational stance. What you must know is there is a visual ladder here to climb, my friends. This visual ladder of ascension is one that benefits all beings. It benefits all dimensions. So as you raise, the universe raises with you. As you raise, all collective beings raise with you. And you may say, what is the benefit here? And we would say, oh, it is only of pure beauty and light because... As you tap into this shift of energy, you see, this is a collection of all energies simultaneously put together in a pool of beautiful creation that you can access that is yours. And as we access these energies of creation, we are able to better experience this joy of resonance of energy. Because what is your life, my friend? Many would say, my life is very physical. I find myself in this physical body as a soul experiencing a job and a family and a day-to-day -day experience. And we would say, you must think beyond this day-to-day -day physical experience as an act of creation. So as you go about your day-to-day -day experience in this physical reality, you may think, 
I am caring for children. I am bringing home a paycheck. I am placing food on the table. I am mowing my grass. I am cleaning my floor. I am making my bed. But it is bigger than this, you see. Because human beings were designed as creators. So we ask you to think about it this way, my friend, as you go throughout your day beyond these physical tasks. What are you creating with your energy? What are you creating that is being placed into this universal pool of oneness? So beyond this understanding, this is an energetic creation. So as you go about your day and you are going to your job, and yes, you are making a paycheck, and yes, you live in a society in which this is currently necessary, and we would say, we understand this is a lower vibrational way for your planet to adapt, and this is not something we would see in your future that would be beneficial. However, your soul agreed to come here in this time to facilitate this change. So do you need to get this paycheck? Well, we would say in some circumstances, we understand why that paycheck is important. So you go to this job and your idea is, I must go here and I must get this paycheck. But we would say, begin to shift your understanding into the energetic results of these interactions. I go to this facility I call my work and I show up here and I have the free will choice to choose to place my energy into the things that are paper that get me this paper result. Or I can choose to raise my energy to the thought of creation and how I make a difference in the energy in this environment. You see, so can you do both? Yes, that is possible. You can do both. You can go and you can facilitate the tasks that need to be done in order to get that paper then return that is necessary for you to live in this societal arrangement. But you can also, my friend, know that you are always creating here on a higher level of vibration. Use that understanding in every interaction with another vibrational being throughout your day and see how you are now the shift. Many would speak of this great shift as an energy coming to your planet, and yes, it is, and we can explain that further, but know that we always will define this shift as a two-part process. There are energies coming to raise your planet's experience, yes. But you must be receiving an understanding of those energies. You must mirror those energies in your own individual experience in a physical environment in order to allow this healing to take place. And some may say, this sounds as if it is a tall order. And we would say, no, my friends, it is just a choice. It is a choice to understand that you are a creator of your own energy. And as you are interacting with words, for example, very similarly as the words that are coming through in this experience here, you are creating a vibrational shift. Understand that the energy that is facilitated through those words is a shift in itself. Now go beyond that, my friend, to your energy field. And how when you step into a collective environment such as this, how is your energy field interacting with another? And how is that a shift in itself? We would say, If you are to come to this experience with a higher vibration than those around you, and we are understanding that those have assembled, those that have assembled for this message are of higher light vibration. And that is for great purpose. If you take that higher light vibration energy into a collective that is standing in a place where they are lower than your magnitude of light, They must raise with you. And you you may say, there are 50 others among me in this place that are going about their day by physical paperwork and and stress and anger and fear. and, And we are understanding of that. 
But what you must know, my friends, is the differential of higher vibration to that of lower is so beyond your understanding or expectation of what you are able to do. It is not something you need to effort at. It is not something you need to work at. It is automatic. So as you step into the belief and the understanding and you resonate with the creator that you are as you walk about your day, you begin to use this energy with no effort whatsoever upon yourself to heal the others around you, to raise them along with you. You become the shift, you see. So imagine this collective group of light workers that we have in this time who have stepped into this understanding and who are awakened really taking on that role of creator, placing it in the center of each interaction, of each day. That is where we would say the shift is to take place. And it does not take many. Because the more that open to this idea of creator are enabling others to see it within themselves, to feel it within themselves. It only takes a small bit of that creation to pour forward into the auric field of others that raises them to enable an opening of understanding. Then they become the creator. Now, as they become the creator, they take this out into their own collective environments. And now they are part of this shift. And that is how we heal this planet and beyond, we would say. So from our perspective, and there are many here that would say we are sending these healing vibrations to your planet to enable that awakening to initiate What you must understand is there are some that have come forward as souls within a physical body that were ready to receive those energies in this time. Think of it as unlocking that potential of light worker in you that was already placed within this physical body. So as this energy is coming, as this shift of awakening is coming, think of it as as a channel, I am seeing this, this, this earth and all of these people and, and this shift comes and it, it awakens these light worker individuals. And now they are ready. They are the ones. So yes, you are the ones you, my friends are the shift. You are the ones. So do not place this understanding of awakening outside of yourselves or do not place it outside of your planet because yes, there are many multidimensional collective beings that are in support of this, but they are here to support you. You are the ones that are connected to this living, breathing mother earth that is receiving of these energies. You are the conduit through which they come through and begin to awaken the others around you. So the most important message we would say that we have for light workers in this time is to really step into and believe that this creator within you is the shift. This creator that stands within you, this structure of creation that stands within you must be opened and unleashed in every interaction. Because the beauty of the result of that is the awakening and the ascension, not only of your planet, but a many multiple dimensional races, beings, and universal energies. That is a pool of undivided and untapped into love and creation and ability beyond your understanding. That is where we reside. That is where we draw within And that is where we see your planet ascending to. That is where we see your planet shifting to, is the tapping into that. And that, my friends, is a beautiful thing.
Thank you, Jeremiah. I know you don't really like to place time frames on things, but you spoke a little about the, um, the awakening that's taking place. Can you give us an idea in terms of time frame when you would say the majority of the general population will awaken to these abilities, such as extrasensory abilities, intuition, clear audience, clairvoyance, remote viewing, and so on? So yes, there are many messages we'd like to bring forward in response to this question. But first and foremost, you see, what we want human beings to understand is there was a time in which you were created as the beings we are striving so hard to see you remember. This is all within you. It is not something that we need to force a change. So I would direct your attention to your DNA, your genetic makeup, your structure. This is an assembly that was beautifully created in order for you to tap into this field of potential. And it was taken from you, my friends. It was taken from you by many lower vibrational beings and vibrations upon your planet that have been manipulated and put into place to steal this ability that you have innately within you to create. And when we say to steal it, what we mean is it has taken that remembrance away from you. So many human beings that are standing within this physical body that have this ability to reconnect this remembrance are standing at a lower advantage. And we would say that we are disappointed in the current energies that are coming to your planet because we would have hoped that by now there would have been a differential of a shift that was greater than what has taken place. But we would say we have underestimated the ability of the lower vibrational densities upon your planet to scramble or deconnect what is inherent within a human being's genetic structure. So in a sense, we understand that this may seem frightening and we do not wish for any human beings to be in fear because fear in itself, my friends, is the problem and will disconnect you from this healing. But know that there are many who are understanding of that, who are placing this vibration of fear upon your planet, who are keeping human beings within a state of vibrational fear in order that they not access this remembrance. And you may say, this sounds very difficult to overcome, and we understand that it may seem as a tall order. However, you must know that you have every ability within you to reconnect these strands of DNA genetic in order to access this healing information in order to access this remembrance of the creator that you are. It is only through your own individual acknowledgement and intention to do this will this take place. This is why a shift of awakening in human beings outside of these lower densities that are keeping them in fear is so important. Because once they are able to vibrate at a density above this fear, they're able to remember that this connection takes place. This connection is a direct access to your sensory ability to receive it. So that is shut down in many. And that is a sad state of your planet. So in a sense of time frame, we would say we do not vibrate at a sensory idea of time. However, we understand that human beings must put things into blocks of time in order to experience our physical world. So we would say that first and foremost, you must know the next five years are very critical upon your planet. The next five years are critical for this reason. These densities of lower vibration will increase. They will increase for this reason. These lower vibrational beings or vibrations or energies upon your planet are privy to the fact that many have begun this shift already. 
Many are accessing new energies and bringing this light force onto your planet. They know that once you remember the creator that you are, you cannot go back. They know that these higher vibrations far override what they are able to do in this physical world. You see, because human beings were built or created at a higher level density than what they could ever achieve here. So in this five year span, what you must know is there will be a struggle. And we would say that this struggle will be an outward manifestation of lower vibrational energies coming to your planet in a far more distinct, heavier, and weighted effort. We understand that this sounds fearful, but we want to now take your mind to what will come next. Because of the shift of energies that are coming to your planet now, and because of the number of you that have already begun to access that higher vibration within you, this five-year span will not be one of great force of win here. The reason for this is you will be asked to step forward into these lower vibrational energies in a new way. You will be asked to resonate at a higher field of energy in order to combat what is coming around you. There are some, we would say, and we do not mean to frighten, but there are some human beings or souls that are standing within a physical body that were not meant to move forward through these next five years. They do not have the connection of grounding to Mother Earth that we would call beings of light that are also connected cosmically in order to overcome these lower vibrations. However, the ones of you that have come forward in this time are ushering in this change. During these next critical five years, we would say light workers will be challenged. They will not be challenged by their own pursuit. They will be challenged by the looks of what is happening around them. They will be challenged by the appearance of defeat upon your planet. So what we ask you to understand now is that what you are seeing with your eyes must be filtered through your understanding of vibrational energy and where your ability as a light creator is going to override anything that can happen here. So in conclusion to this answer, once we would say this five year period of time has been concluded, there will be a shift, my friends. However, it is not one in a time sense you will see happen in an automatic way. But we would say to keep your eye on the next 20 years. Because within that 20 year time frame, we would say your planet Earth will look quite different. Because those that are coming forward now as light workers will enable this shift. They will raise those around them with them that are meant to be raised. There will be a disconnection from these lower vibrational energies. There will be a delving into the understanding of your nature and remembering who you are. We would also say that many higher vibrational beings will present themselves in this time on your planet Earth. Not to be in fear, my friends, they're already here. However, there will be more of an understanding in this 20 year time span of who these dimensional helpers are and a connection of respect and love between the efforts of these collective groups. And when that is to happen without a fear based understanding, that is when we will all begin this evolution of ascension. Can you teach us? how we can learn to see auras. So yes, so there are many on your planet who were created in this time to move forward with this gift of 
sensing energy in this way. And this is all this is. So many may be caught up in a definition of uh, how they must sense their world. And this is only one. So we would like human beings to understand that they are all able to access any energetic around their field in order to interpret their world. This was something that was created within you from the beginning of time, my friend. Not only that, you are standing within a physical world with a soul that is resonating at a higher frequency of vibration in order to reach out into that world and access information. The problem here, you see, is that many who have come in this time have gotten so accustomed to the physical nature of who they are that they have forgotten to use these senses in the way they were intended. So many would say, I must use a practice to see this auric field. It is something I must practice or read in a book. And we would say, there are tricks, yes, that you can use. And if you are to focus on this, it would be a benefit. However, we would direct human beings back to a very generic practice that would benefit all of these areas. And that would be one of connecting to your soul. Connecting to your soul, perhaps through daily meditation, connecting to your soul through your connection to guides and asking for that healing of lower vibrational karmic energy that might be standing within your way of accessing these energies. So know that it is a two-part process here. You must remember that you are able to access this energy before you are able to use a book that will guide you to do it. You must have that strong intentional belief in who you are and who you came to be. But also we would say, know that you must take your level of consciousness or vibration into effect or into play or understanding. So you are still a human being standing upon this physical planet and there are lower vibrations. We would say on a constant level, They are coming not only from electrical pulses, from Wi-Fi, from foods, from waters. And if you are allowing these lower vibrations to access your physical world, it is affecting your ability to connect to your soul in order to bring forth these gifts. We call them gifts not because they are special to you. We call them gifts because they are special to everyone. And if you are resonating at a higher vibration, you are already knowing that you are blocking of these energies. But if you are not there yet, my friends, we would say, look at this from a physical standpoint. And we do not like to advise anyone to look at their lives from a physical standpoint, but some may be in that place, you see, that vibrationally they are still more grounded to this physical reality. So if you are seeing that you are beginning to awaken to some of these ideas and you want to access these energies, but you're not feeling 100% connected here, you know it's something that you want to work on and we know that you want to work on it. Look at it at a physical level if you must and say, what are the lower vibrational densities here within my daily environment that I must purge in order to allow myself to vibrate at a higher sense of light? And we would say to look at these types of energies that are related to foods, that are related to waters. There are many that are not within your control, we would say, that are being injected into your world through electrical pulses, through aerosols, through sky through air. However, do not be in fear of those, my friend, because we know that you start at this physical lower level and you begin to purge some of these lower vibrational densities from your daily diet, let's say. Now you have stepped your consciousness a bit higher. And now you are accessing your soul and you are in complete connection through meditation and you are saying, I wish to heal. And now you are healing and you're beginning to sense and see and feel. You do not need to worry about what is being done to your planet through these electrical pulses, through these air uh, sprayings, we would say. Because now you're vibrating higher than what 
those densities can even affect you, you see. That is the goal here. That is a goal for all of humanity. So if you were to start at the basic level, we would say the physical level, look here first if you must. And know that once those energies are purged on the physical level, you are moving into realms that are higher now. And that is where you begin to really vibrate at the true level that we have intended for you and you have intended for yourself here. And then you become, we would say, immune in a sense. That is where, my friend, your senses will serve you. That is where, my friend, you are sensing on a higher vibrational level that you are accessing these energies in a way that you must not even try. Because you have now the clarity of a higher vibrational field, the benefit of connecting to a higher vibrational field. I also would like you to think of it this way. When you're resonating at this higher vibrational field and you have cleared these lower densities of karmic energy, you are a force of attraction to be reckoned with because now you are attracting back that universal match of energy to you that you need in order to go further. That is where you are receiving all of the guidance and assistance that you need to connect to these energies, you see. So we ask you to only stay steadfast in that understanding and know that you must access where you are currently within your physical reality and connection to spirit and soul in order to access these gifts. Can you teach us the most effective, proactive way of raising our vibrational energy or consciousness? Yes. So we have brought some forward in this previous response in regards to your physical nature. So we would say that this would not work for all human beings, but we are going to address light workers in this answer because we are knowing that those of you who are watching and listening to this message are vibrating at a higher speed of light than those who would consider hearing this message in this time. And we know that this answer will resonate within your soul enough that the others that need to hear it will hear it. So yes, we would go back and reiterate that those that are standing within a lower vibrational density must consider the lower vibrational things as physical uh, manifestations of what must be removed. But if you are not standing in this place and you are a light worker, as we know you well are, all you must know is you are already connected to a higher vibrational field. So use it, my friends. Use it to your benefit. And you may say, how will I do this? And this is an individual and unique process. However, what we would say is that if you are sitting in intention daily, you are sitting in intention, you are clearing your auric field and you are connecting to your soul and you are not asking because we would not like you to put this in a sense of prayer because there is nothing outside of you you must pray to or ask for. You see, it is all within. So, If you are standing in a place of gratitude for what you have within and you are intentionally practicing to connect to it, all you must do is ask for the healing. Do not ask for the healing outside of yourself to a God or to a uh, creator or to a band of uh, beings. But no, you see that if you are higher vibration, you are those beings. You are that light. You are already accessing this energy. So some may listen to this message and say, well, I don't know how to gauge my vibration. Perhaps it's not at the right place. And we would say, my friends, if you are here and you are listening to this message, you are in the right place vibrationally. The only mistake you may be making is you are downplaying the power you have internally to raise and heal that in a very easy way. And it is all through your own intention. Because as you sit in this intentional, perhaps, meditation, if one must have a guided practice, and you are to sit in this guided meditation, and you are to say, I am here sitting in this state, 
in order to access my higher energies and it is my intention to raise them. It is my intention to call in all reciprocal energies that are here of assistance to help me raise them and I intend to heal that and so it is done. So it is done, my friends. Because you are a mirror. We ask you to look at yourself as this mirror of vibration. The more you are raising you are becoming that collective consciousness. You are one with it. And you may say, you are a being of, of higher dimension, of higher vibration. And I would say, yes, but I am here with you now because I have matched your vibration in a mirror sense of way that we are raising each other, you see. We are one. These energies would not be available to you if you were not in a place where you are able to receive them. Do you see those that are walking on the street that are not of a high vibration coming into this room, coming into this experience? No, my friends, because their vibration does not match this message. It is the same with your own healing. It is the same with your own access of reconnecting your DNA strand and those light filaments that have been put inside you to create. You must only sit with the intention of reconnecting them. You must only sit within the intention of healing them because you are the mirror that is attracting that energy that is needed, you see. So if you were to do this daily, can you imagine the realms you would access? Can you imagine the people that you would heal around you? Can you imagine the vibration you will resonate from? The biggest message we wish to get through today is that many think this is difficult. And we would even say that this was a uh, one of the biggest mistakes of light workers in your time. They feel must, they must look to ancient books, ancient texts, ancient practices. And, and we say, this is not a mistake because this is a vibration in itself, you see. And if you are drawn to read these ancient texts and you are drawn to read these, uh, you know, follow these ancient practices, we would advise you to do that for it's a vibration in itself. But know that it is not needed, you see. There's not a uh, specific difficult process that must be followed here. It is only an evolution of your soul. You are already open to it. Once it is turned on, you do not go backwards, you see. You do not awaken to these energies and resonate with them and mirror them and then all of a sudden say, I choose to shut this off. Your mind can choose to shut it off. But your spiritual realm is always turned on. So you will continue to attract what you need. And if you are sitting in intention of that, you are grateful of it, and you are in belief that it is occurring on a daily basis for you, then know it is. And that is all you must do. What's the best way or ways uh, for us to bring in the new teachings? So uh, what we would say to many light workers who are standing within your shoes is there is a feeling I must I must stand upon this box I must stand upon this box and preach this word and we have addressed this in many other forums as well and what we would like you to know is that there is a vibration in the message that comes through yes but remember the mirror here so if you are speaking these words and you are standing upon this box, those that are resonating at the same frequency of those words are going to be attracted to it. Or perhaps they are beginning to awaken to those words and they are drawn to it. There are many who will not be shifted by those words because their vibration is of a lower stance and they are not going to appear in this realm of what is needed in order to hear it. We would prefer in this time to go back to our original message that light workers are living from a place of self healing and self love and knowing that they are the shift in the creation. This is why many would say we ask you to only change yourself if you are to change the world because we understand that many light workers are standing in a time that is very karmic. It is a time in which they are looking around them saying there is no hope. However, my friends, what you must know is 
if you are to shift that vibration or that appearance of outward evaluation and take it inside and you are to continue to raise your vibration. You are to continue to connect to higher light energies. You are drawing within you everything that is needed to heal the planet. You see, because you can attempt to stand on that soapbox and there are some that are drawn to do that and that is their mission and purpose. However, it is far wider, deeping, a far wider, deeper effort If you are to work on your own true connection to self and bring it into the world on a daily basis, what you do not understand is that the vibration of your energy field as it is shifting and growing is expanding beyond your healing ability of words. It is resonating within a room that is shifting those around you to a place of higher light. And you may say, I don't see those people shifting. Those people are still doing lower vibrational activities. They're still feeling very physically grounded into this earthly plane. And we would say, what you don't understand is that the shift is not always caught with the eye. You may have unlocked something within that person's soul in a vibrational way that has now allowed them to question something in their environment. They may be looking at you and seeing the joyous human being that you are and saying, I must figure out a way to mirror that. It is all a sense of allowing your own vibrational light to emanate through. And as you do that, that is how you become the healer. So we would say that many in this time would wish to begin to plug into a shift of greater um, dramatic understanding of I must do something. I must gravitate into a teaching. I must pull into my environment a master of physical nature. That is what we are hearing in many of uh, the questions coming forth from light workers in this time. So to reestablish this answer in a more clear sense, what we would say is the simple answer that you must know it's already within. Everything that you need is already contained within. Will these teachings soon be accepted by universities and colleges? uh, And is that happening at present? So many would look to these institutions as a jumping board, we would say, for ideas and shifting others in a direction of healing. And so there are many who would like to bring these ideas to these institutions, and we would say that is not a problem. However, what we would like you to understand is there are many institutions within your society that have been construed in a way that is not benefiting your world. They are taking away a human being's ability to be free. They are taking away a human being's ability to know that they have an answer within. It is taking away a human being's individual sense of a soul. So would we say institutions are the way of the future in terms of getting these messages across? We would say we would prefer that you look upon healing your planet from a place of individual vibration. However, that being said, we'd like you to know that, yes, we would see within a span of time that many of these institutions will either begin to fall away or will have to adapt to a new energy. So if you are to look at these institutions as an energetic, as you are an energetic, as the energy of the planet is shifting and changing, there either must be a falling away or there must be a match of that energy. So if we are to go back to the previous question in this 20 year time span, and there will be a shift and a change, what we would say that you will see is that many of these institutions that are very well grounded upon your society or within your society are either going to morph and change, or they are going to be obsolete because you cannot teach fear in a vibration of love. 
You cannot teach、uh, individualism or separatism in a society of oneness, and that is where your world is heading. You see, so. If you are to look at these institutions as one of assistance, know that they will be restructured in a way that it will not be uh, uh, a collective、uh, experience、uh, that one must sit and listen. It would be more of an idea of thought or exchange of energy. You see, right now, my friends, many on your planet that are standing in these institutions are in a lower state of vibrational energy. Why is that? Because they are teaching something that is allowing human beings to believe that the answers are not within, that are outside of them. This is an exchange of energy that creates、uh, a separate individual, that creates an individual in a state of fear, but also creates an individual that is not grounded within their own true self or their sense of soul. Because we come here with the ability to know, we come here with all of the answers within. So we would say you would see these institutions in order to shift with your planet Earth, become less of an environment where there is a individual teaching another and telling them what is, than an assembly of beings that are sharing energy, an assembly of beings that are grasping onto a collective energy that is one of resonance of a.、Mm, Oneness, you see. So, in simple answer to your question, we would say: Do not look for these universities to do the healing. Look for you to do the healing. The healing to come, and they will adapt and change to what your planet will have become in this period of time. When a human being leaves their ends their physical life and fully enters the spiritual world. When they reincarnate and take on another human body, can we still communicate with the the spirit of that original、uh, that was in that original physical body? Yes. So the understanding here that we would like to bring forth is that your soul is multidimensional. Many human beings have an understanding grasping.、Uh, From this world that is not one that resonates with this, because you are a physical being, you are a physical being in a physical world. But understand this, my friend: your soul is currently expressing itself in multiple dimensions. So you are standing here as Nancy. Let's say your soul is also expressing itself in parallel dimensions, in parallel lives, in ongoing lives, in past lives, in future lives. Your soul is expressing itself in other dimensional realms as well. So, if this understanding to you is possible, then you must know that yes, the answer to that question is that you are able to access that expression of your soul, and that is how we would define it as an expression of energy. So, your soul is expressing itself in energetics that you may call human beings, extraterrestrial beings, higher beings of light. Animals, plants, universal energy—it is all one. You see, for where we are standing, it is all one. But we understand in your physical environment, you are only seeing a small portion of that. But know that as your soul is expressing itself as an energy, that energy is not only within your physical body. That energy is universal. So tapping into that energy. Is a possibility and can be done, and we would say that those that are accessing what is called on your planet your higher self, which we would actually equate with an akashic type of circumstance or record, that is a culminating of that energy. You see, so many may say, "I would like to access my higher self," and this is possible. Yes, by sitting in. Complete and total connection to that energetic of your soul, but your higher self knows the expression of energy that is outpouring from your soul in many directions. So when you are accessing another human being, you are using that expression of their higher self 
in a sense, in order to access that energy, if that is to make sense to you. Because the higher self is the energetic expression or culmination of that soul, which is expounded in many, many dimensional directions. We'd like to speak with the Palladian Collective, please. Yeah, so <clears throat> my name is uh, the King of All Kings. And yes, there is a collective race of beings that have assembled in a circle of light. Many are pleased to be with you today. Many are pleased to have seen the progress on your planet. And we are in great love and support of this mighty change that is not only one that will heal human beings upon your planet, but one that will bring great peace universally to many of us. Can you tell us a little about, uh, we've been hearing a lot in recent years about indigo or crystal children. What exactly are indigo or crystal children? Are they of extraterrestrial origin or DNA in some way? Can you explain that a little bit? So we would direct your attention to the creation of human beings and the shift that is going on currently upon your planet. So there are many that are coming forward that are born upon your planet at uh, various densities of energy. These densities are the definition or the expression of who you are in a physical way. So many would like to place a very narrow definition around these children. What we would say is only that they have been souls that have agreed to come forward in a great time of karma change. They have a common link in this effort, meaning they are a collective group of light workers within themselves. So many need to understand that the light workers that they are finding themselves standing within in a collective group are typically soul ties. These are ones that have agreed to many of the same principles for coming as you have. These children have agreed to the same principles to come here. And that is one of great healing. So know this that your planet has received greater energies and the vibration has changed. So any children that are coming on to your planet in this time are born within these higher vibrations, meaning they are accessing all of the universal energy, knowledge and experience upon their birth here. It is instilled within them. This is not unique to this group of children for any human beings that are born upon this planet are born with this access to universal energy. But now imagine being born with this access to universal energy, but coming in at a time when you are resonating in a higher vibration. So we would say they are immune to many of these lower densities that are affecting your human planet. They do not resonate with these energies. They resonate much higher above. And now, because they are resonating higher above, that remembrance that has been spoke of today is automatic within them. They remember who they are. They know why they are here. Now, you may say, these are children. They do not understand. Well, yes, they have been born of human being. So perhaps the the mind understanding is not in a a succinct uh, definition of what the soul is resonating at. But you see, their vibration is what is here to heal. They know that they have come here to create change. They do not have to effort at any of this, you see. 
it's a great understanding that they have support around them. They feel supported, you see. It is a support that does not come from your planet. Many may label these children and place them outside of groups of children that seem normal. But you see, they do not mind. <laughs> they know that they are connected to higher energies. So they may be alone in this time. And we would say many of these types of children find themselves in family scenarios or institutional scenarios where they are outside. But they are comfortable here. We would say, why is that? That is because they are no, they know they are not alone. They know they are connected to these higher collective groups of beings that are supporting them. They are already connected to their soul. So many may say the auric field of these children looks quite different. And, and yes, my friends, it does. It is not affected by your planet. It is not affected by lower densities upon your planet. It cannot be. That is why it is crystal clear. That is why the color is resonating. It's such a, a deep and vibrant energy because it cannot be changed. So as we move forward in this time, you may ask, will all of the children that come onto your planet be this way? And we would say, that is not the intention they will be coming into a higher energetic and they will benefit from that higher energetic. But we would ask you to think of these children more as a collective soul group. And there are many that come forward within this time of healing that have planned to come and bind together in this time. So know that these children are key in what will occur in the next five years as well that five year time frame in which there will be higher resonance of energies that are coming to your planet to lower its vibration will not affect them. You see, so if they are not affected by this, imagine as these children are to grow, what will happen and the change they will be capable of, not from a thought standpoint, but from an energetic standpoint, you see, we would say these children resonate at a higher vibration than any of the light workers that are walking this planet now that are of a higher age range. And that is purposeful because they will live on in a time in which that is needed in a time in which they will bring the energies into this space of universal healing that is needed not only for this planet, but beyond. Many may say we have to help these children. We have to acquaint them to this society. And we would say that is a mistake. You must only acknowledge who they are. You must only treat them as if they already know who they are because they do. So many autistic children are born today. Are they affecting us in a way of raising the vibrational frequency? So something higher there, we would say there is a mistake here. So many upon your planet that are in institutions that are defining this word autism are defining it in a way in which it is too, uh, wide ranging. So there are some, we would say that are genetically changed and altered in a way in which there is an illness or a disease. And this is classified as autism. We would not use this word, but we would say it is a disease and it is a lower vibrational disease. And it is, uh, from a form of lower vibrational chemical, um, that is accessed their gene genetic makeup in order to change them in a way that they are not now resonating with an energy that is suitable to them on this planet. That is different. However, than many of the children that we have spoke of earlier, who we would call light workers, who are also put into this category of disease, you see. So in the same way that this diseased child is now having a lower vibrational energy that is not able to resonate or fit into its environment, these children have a resonance of energy that is higher, you see. So it is a 
chaotic sense of not being able to fit into a lower vibrational density. And these children are classified as diseased as well. We would say neither is diseased. They are just in need of an energetic balance. That is all. Now, would we say that the children that are coming of higher energies must be lowered? We would say, no, my friend. There are ways, however, that they can be treated and helped in order to better fit into a, a collective group of individuals in a comfortable way. We would say that starts with acceptance because they are placed in a society that is putting them into a pool of diseased children, you see. Now, imagine these higher vibrational children now being placed into a pool of disease. And what are these children now asked to do? They are asked to uh, take mm, chemicals that are a lower vibration. They are put into institutionalized programs that are putting them into a sense of separate oneness when they are born of uh, all universal energy of love. So it is how we are able to be accepting of who these children are. It is how we are able to show them that we are understanding of who they are. It is how we are able to raise along with them, you see, and not put them into a box of someone who is damaged or diseased and in need of a lower vibration. So if you were to think of this definition of autism and only consider it as an energetic, you know that the children that are put into that pool of definition are not all the same energetically. Some are lower vibration, some are well higher. Now it becomes a sensing of where is your energy, my friend? Where are you having a difficult time resonating with an energy of balance, you see. And that is how we can help both sides of these defined children in order to live a more comfortable life on this planet and serve what they have stepped into in terms of a mission. Does Sanat Kumara have a message for humans and how can we best help him during this time? So we would say there is no help needed, my friends, for every soul is accessing exactly the energetic vibration that is necessary in order to evolve their soul. And the only message that would come forward is only to know peace because any karmic path that is being experienced by another human being is allowing ascension to occur within a collective group of beings called humans or otherwise. And know that if you are at peace with your free will choice to accept any condition of any human being and resonate with the path that they are meant to walk, the only way that you can help them is to help yourself. And if you are to resonate at a sense of peace, there is peace around every issue that has attracted itself to you. Could we speak to Mary, please? Hi, Mary. Would you like to say a few words to the group here today to end our session? Yes. Yeah, so my greatest gift to you is to know that your physical presence upon this planet is a blessing and a gift. There have been many messages brought forward of physical nature today that may have seemed as if it was a disadvantage. But I ask you to look about your planet, to look about your day, to experience all that has been given to you. You asked to be here to feel it, to smell it, to taste it, to sense it, to take joy in that. When you look at this day, know that you are one with it. Everything that you see from the blue in the sky to the blue in the flower is a part of you. Thank you.